Hi everybody, this is Steve from Concession Nation. Today we're going to talk about the water system and how it functions in a food trailer. There's a water pump and water heater plugged into it. Always the best practice because you don't want to... Hey folks, with our operations manager, Larry, who's going to detail how this system works step by step. Thanks, Steve. So, the water system is unique because there's several steps. But if you do not do those steps every time, you can have issues with the water pump. And that's one thing you really want to avoid. So what we do first and foremost is we're going to come into the trailer. We're going to go to the breaker panel box, which is clearly marked water heater, water pump. And we are going to switch off the breaker to the receptacle that the water heater and water pump are plugged into. What's next, Larry? Well, the next step is to make sure that you open up the valve where the water is going to go down into the tank. If you leave that valve closed, right, water will still come through, but it's going to bypass the tank and the pump. So what you want to do is you just want to open that up by moving it down. So now it's in a vertical position, and that means that water can easily flow in from the outside and down into the uh, water tank below. Great. So Larry, what's the next step? Well, now that we have the power switched off and the valve open, the next step is a very simple one. You're just going to connect the hose to the water inlet. Just going to screw it on like that, and then they'll turn the water on. So the water supply doesn't have to be at full power. You just turn the, uh, the water on a little bit, nice steady flow. About 12 minutes later, you'll hear water coming out of the tank at the overflow. So There's that's when you know it's full. That's how you know that it's full. When you hear the water hit. And you'll see the water rolling out from underneath the trailer. Now you know that the tank is full. At that point, you go over, you switch off your water, come over, move the hose, and always make sure that you close the inlet back up. What kind of a hose must they have to do this? Well, number one, a food grade hose is always recommended. Number two, you got to have a hose that's long enough to come from a faucet that's approved for fresh water. You cannot use anything that comes from a pump underground. And if it has a, a salt refiner for the water, a purifier, you can use that as well, but you always have to make sure that it's approved by the food inspectors. Got it. So, Larry, so now that we've turned off the switch to the water pump and the water heater, mm -hmm. we have now put a hose out and we've filled the tank with water. What's next? Well, that's a very good question. So the next thing you want to do is you want to come back inside here, go over and you want to close the valve to the tank because the pump will not operate if that valve is open. So you want to take it. Turn it back so it's horizontal. Now that valve is closed. Then you want to come over and give it some power. So you're going to switch on the water heater, water pump breaker. Did you hear that little grunt? Yes. That means it's primed and ready to run. So your next step, turn on some water. Let's move the cutting board surface that we include in all trailers and trucks for the same and then go ahead and run your water whichever one you want to put on first make sure the air goes out of it good nice you can shut that one off turn on your hot water now one thing about the hot water since we're looking at the water heater see that water heater back there that's a propane unit so that will only get hot if the gas is on outside okay and you 
activate your hot water faucet now the hot water will come out once there's propane but now you're not going to get hot water because we don't have propane in the tanks but it'll still run so go ahead and try it so propane must be turned on for it to get hot correct you got to have propane to the propane water heater in order for the water to be hot okay but go ahead it'll still run See? now you see that intermittent uh, yes. activity there yeah. what's that all about that's the pump the pump is set up and then there's an aerator inside this faucet so what happens is that because of the aerator the pump which is drawing water from the tank is going to cause an intermittent activity but okay. it does absolutely nothing doesn't hurt anything and you can always work it out to where you could pull out your aerator and run a nice steady flow of water but your water usage will increase without an aerator ah okay fair enough thank you so that's basically it great wow that's pretty simple if you, if you go step by step there's never going to be an issue that's right repetition is important so if you do the same steps every time you'll pick it up rather quickly and it'll just become second nature and the manuals have all this detailed step by step as well correct that's correct you'll look in the paperwork and you'll see that it covers water system or if you don't have your paperwork handy you can always call me call us here and we can explain how to operate the water system. Oh, that's great. All right? Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. And thank all of you.